Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Stacy here from Chevy Creative Whimsy. Thank you for stopping by my page. Um, I'll, as always, if you are catching me live, please say hello. Um, let me know where you're from. I have some new followers that I'd, I'd love to see where you're, where you're from if you pop on. Um, and if you pop on the replay, um, type replay and let me know where you're from when you hit replay. Um, I was trying to do a farmhouse sign and I see, I think it was Luann did give me a suggestion. You guys, that, that's open for discussion. But apparently I'm not feeling, feeling the farmhouse vibe. And um, I decided it was a whimsical Wednesday and I just needed to get creative. Um, I've been at work all morning and I just have a little bit of time here before I have to do all the things. And I thought I'd take that time and get creative and bring you along as I sometimes do. Um, thought we'd do a witchy Wednesday. Um, I was kind of just scrolling through the internet looking at images and I saw a cute little witch and I thought, oh, she would be fun to paint. So I'm going to do my own version of her. Whimsical, lighthearted, and uh, a little Halloween-y. Um, hopefully it's not too early for Halloween for you guys, but uh, I really love October and Halloween um, has some special meaning for my husband and I. So even though we don't get any trick-or-treaters, so I don't really decorate too much at home, um, I still enjoy the season. So without further ado, I'm going to turn you down here so you can see what's happening. I already did the background and started drawing before I decided to bring you guys with me. So, I don't know if you can see it. I did it in a light green today because that pink was really crazy if you watched it the other day. I've already started mixing some colors. Um, I used red and blue and white and just made a sweet little purple for a part of my for my witch's dress. Um, so you can make any shade, you can make her dress any shade that goes with your decor if you're doing a, a theme. I'm just using a little flat brush, scrubbing her down, giving her a little skirt at the top of the painting. Actually, could have used a chip brush for this because it's a big area. Again, I'm using my little junk journal that I often use when I'm just feeling like I want to play. Encourage you guys to definitely get yourselves one of these little notebooks. I grab here. As people ask and I forget. I grabbed one out just to show you that I paint the covers of mine, so I really know what they are. But this is what I usually get. I get it. Um, at Michael's, usually when they're buy one, get one free, or buy one, get one half off, or I have a 40% or 50% off coupon, that's when I pick them up. So, I didn't mix up enough color here, so I'm going to add some more red and blue. You see that? Oh, you got good. And some white. I'm going to go in and sketch a little... Uh, white or something else in in this anyway, so it doesn't have to be My witch is wearing a ragged little skirt so she can Adjust if the colors are not exact just blend some of this through back to where I started Real simple and again, I'll go back and do some some lining and edging of this <clears throat> My allergies are terrible you guys. Sorry husband mowed all of the things he could mow this weekend and you ever met anybody that's a uh, allergic to grass I am so when he mows all the things it looks beautiful but my allergies really get a little nutty when that's going on so I'm just gonna go back and add a little bit of this lighter purple as I got more white into it to her skirt and this is, like I said, just a quick little art therapy for me to unwind from a day. Actually, I had a really good day at the shop, but it's always nice to take a few minutes for yourself. And do something creative. And 
if you can't think of anything creative to do on your own, you can grab out some paint and do this one. Yeah. So far, so good. You think? <laughs> I'm gonna rinse my brush off. I'm gonna start on her legs, and then you'll probably start to see this painting come together. Because it's in my journal, I'm actually just going to do a little mixed media with her. And by that I mean I'm going to write on it with magic marker. I'm not going to take the time to um, write out the lettering in, in paint um, that I want to put on it. Um, if I was doing it on a canvas or something decorative that was actually going to go on the wall or be a shelf sitter or whatever the case may be, then I would definitely take the time to do the lettering real nice. I, I should show you guys how to do that sometime. Um, but for my journal, it's just, you know, for me to keep and look back on, um, I'm fine with Magic Marker. And actually, you know, if you take the time and do it nicely with Magic Marker, it's perfectly fine to do that um, for a wall piece. Just depends on personal preference, I guess, on that. Probably looks a little funny right now, but it will come together. I'm going to try to paint right along today because I, I believe I have a meeting that I'm supposed to be at at 3 o'clock. I didn't put it in my appointment book, but for some reason that's in my head that Wednesday at 3 o'clock I'm supposed to be doing something. Uh, I have a great painter friend, um, a painter's daughter. She's online. Um, she does furniture and some other creative painting, and um, she's a great note taker. <laughs> and she keeps me on track usually. And I promised her that today... Today was the day I was going to start making a list. However, this meeting was scheduled, I think it was Monday. Um, I don't know. And I didn't have the list then. <laughs> and I didn't go get my phone and put it in my appointment book. So we're going to hope that I'm right. If your paint gets draggy and dry, just use a little water. And it will cooperate better. I'll let those dry and we'll come back to those. I'll rinse my brush again. So now I'm going to go into the black. So this is a really sweet, simple little, little thing you could do just to relax and enjoy and have some fun. It'd be really cool to get, you know, get a couple girlfriends together and do this. Some evening, maybe a wine Wednesday, <laughs> right? Like I said, I sketched, I sketched it all out with chalk and whatever I wasn't happy with or didn't seem to be quite right, I just wiped it off and redrew it. So, pretty simple. There we go. Are you starting to see it come together? <laughs> Little boots. I don't know, sometimes when I'm working on pieces like that one I posted earlier, which is just, it's just a um, cabinet drawer front is all it is. Um, Like I said, I, on that one, I thought I was doing farmhouse, and I got the white on it, and then I just sat there looking at it like, hmm, now what? What's next? I have a, I have a hard time sometimes, like, pieces have to speak to me, and that one's not talking. I 
you can see how simple this is and I just find it very relaxing and kind of gets my head right for the rest of the day. So I had a really good day today, but there's always room for art. If you do get if you do take a minute and paint this, you would post a picture in the comments, you guys. I would love to see what you guys are up to. And like I said, I just um, was online looking for some inspiration. This time of year, it's all, all about the pumpkins and the witches and the scarecrows and that. So I thought, you know what, why not? Why not on a Wednesday afternoon? I was going to put curly toes on her, but now I'm not, I don't know. kind of like these long boots she's got going on. Trying to square her toe off a little bit. And add a little water. Ooh, that looks like white. It is white. Yikes. Must be the same spot I flick the white off on the edge of the water dish. I might come back and put her curly toes on. I don't know. I kind of feel like she should have them. It's, it's, let's do it. Rinse that off. Let's do it. So I'm just going to get a little brush. And add some water to it so the wa the paint is really thin. I'm using acrylic today, so it's it's pretty thin anyways, but I'll make it a little thinner. Yeah. I can go across this one without getting my hand and everything. They don't have to be exact, just connect all your lines and you're good to go, right? Cute little boots. Now we got the little brush out, let's do a spider. Every witch should have a little, a little friend. Does anybody know spiders have eight legs, right? You think? <laughs> this one does. <laughs> Usually I paint on Wednesdays with my Levi and uh, I didn't have him today. So he would know how many legs a spider has. I'll have to ask him next time I see him. Hopefully next week he'll be back up, I hope. We'll see. All right, I'm going to go back into the same purple I used for the dress, except for it's all dried out sitting here in this light. So make some more red and blue. A little more blue. And some white. So it's not going to be the exact same color because I'm mixing as I go here, guys, and that's okay. And then just a smidge more red to this. Just keep mixing until you get a shade you like. If you have red, blue, yellow, black, and white, you can make pretty much any color under the sun. So don't get all excited about having to buy 50 million paints. It's not necessary. This brush might be too big, though, for... For that, you can probably get away with three brushes to do pretty much everything you want to do. Um, and they're very inexpensive if you get them, just get some cheap artist brushes at Michael's. Get a bag. They come in a package with a bunch of them for little to nothing. And um, looking for one of my angled, angled brushes are always my favorite. And all I'm finding is straight ones in here. Here's one. Um... 
So you kind of learn what you like, but you really don't need a ton of supplies to do any of this. So let's do her little leggings. Like I said, I'll come back and line some of this, but which is, I don't know why they were striped, striped stockings, but seems like they do. In my mind, they do. I don't know. I think it just adds to the whimsy of the picture if you go ahead and give her some funky hosiery. Um, now, you know what would be really cute on here, guys? If, if you're really feeling like spending the time, you could give her spider web stockings. Wouldn't that be cool? That'd be a lot of fun. So I'm just making little curved, little curves, little leggings for her there. And let's see, we need a broom. I'm not going to bother to wash my brush because I'm just going into the black. No good witch would be out and about without her broom. And then how to do it. Wash it off. And I think I'll just touch into the yellow and black. Mostly yellow. Just a touch of black. And do a broomstick just so it's not completely lost because I did a yellow and red um, background. My yellow's got red in it as well. Like I said, I'm using acrylics today, so that's kind of for me, they're a very thin, thin paint. I need more yellow. And the yellow is not going to stand up against this background. So what am I going to do with it, guys? I'm going to add just a touch of black to my brush and mix it with the yellow just to get a darker yellow shade. Let's see how that works for us. It doesn't turn too green on me. It's turning kind of green. Too much black. All right. We'll lay that down, and then we'll come back over it with the yellow. And then it will stand out against that background. And then I will, I'll outline it and line it, and that'll help. Blend it all together. Be careful of her little boot. I always go back and touch that up with some uh, white as well. That might be a better way to go. This will get it laid down though so that I can get to it. I'm gonna get my little tiny brush. I'm gonna end up going back over that with the black. That's all right. All right, so let's go back and work on her skirt for a minute while that broom dries. Doing a little edging and lining. Shabifying her. <laughs> and I'm not outlining everything. I'm just doing some. Just to give it a little dimension, a little pop. There we go. So I'm coming from up there. Perfect. Same thing on her stockings. I just put some black on the brush and I'm just, can you see that over there? You can't. I'm just dabbing it off on the side to make it skinny. Make my brush skinny. If you can see, Bo, by doing just this dashing, 
just keeps it whimsical. Keeps it really nice and whimsical. And let's go back into the white. I didn't wash my brush. I might regret that. Let's see. Nope, I'm good. You can see just by adding layers, it gives a little more depth to your painting. And I find with these, it's best to not think about it and just let your hand relax and do its thing. How cute is that? She's adorable. Throw that in the water. Let me get this little liner brush and well, I don't want to fix that till I finish her broom, so forget that. Disregard that thought. You guys have these thoughts. I'm gonna just put a little couple of little circles and a couple of little lines. And circles and lines. Just put a little bows on her boots. I really wish I hadn't messed up that broom like I did, but this is dry. Hmm, do you guys reuse paper towels? Just me? Okay, well, now you know. All right, let's fix our broom. It'll be dry enough to work on. I'm going to go right in with some white to start with because that just is too yellow for me. Or too, not yellow, green. I got too much black in my yellow. But this is good because you guys can see how easy it is, how forgiving paint is, how easy you can fix it. So if you do make a mistake or you don't like something, once it dries, you can very easily go in and correct it. So what I'm doing right now is I'm putting down white because the yellow won't show on the background of my red and yellow. But I wanted to get that red, yellow, and orange fall color into the painting. So some of it is putting is putting colors together, you guys. So that's part of that thought process. But because those were the colors I used on the background, there we go. Um, it didn't it didn't show well for the broom. So I'm gonna go into the straight yellow now with that white behind it. It will show better. And I'm going to go right over that black because I'm going to come back over it. I want the broom to be behind, so I'm going to go right over it. Again, you guys, easy fixes. Just always good thing. touch that black without getting so much that I ruin my yellow. I don't know about these acrylics. That's one thing. My colors don't mix the same. I think we'll just touch the red. That's better. Just to get a different shade of yellow, but I want it more on the yellow than the red side. Just to give me a variation in colors. That's better. I don't know if that'll even show on the camera for you guys, but sometimes it's nicer to have a mix of colors instead of just having your same one solid color, especially because I'm doing a broom and it's got to have different textures to it. Now come back in with some black and break that up and it'll be just fine and dandy. You'll be able to see it. See how kind of they're see-through? So I'll go back over that black and put her together. We're almost done. So I'm gonna let that dry and while that's drying, we'll come back, we'll come over and just do the cheater, cheater lettering. And then I'll uh, finish that little piece. There's my chalk. If you don't like your writing, use stencils, use um, cut out letters out of the newspaper or out of magazines. 
glue them on. Like I said, this is just for me, so. When I look back on it, <laughs> I will get a good laugh out of it. I know the, the wording's backwards in the photo. <laughs> I wrote, if the shoe fits. You could write free broom rides. Um, I smell children. Uh, <laughs> Any number of things, whatever makes your heart happy. Let's see if this is dry enough for me to finish this yet. I just want to put her shoe back on and finish the broom. Maybe a textured broom in a minute. Then a uh, just glue and raffia on there and calling it good, guys. Right? I'm gonna take some black and white make kind of a gray here. Just to break this broom up a little bit. So I'll go back and do the shoe in a minute. There we go. And then we'll take some black. Do a little liner work on her. Here a little. I'm doing just some little uh, V's at the bottom. Just a whimsy or up. I'm gonna put a little black in the broom itself too. Simple enough. Let me put her shoe back on her. Poor little lady. Need some water. See if we got too much. Not bad for a whimsical Wednesday. Just for a quick and fun little something to do. Something, something. So anyways, if you decide to paint her, be sure to come back to this Facebook uh, video and... Uh, Post a picture. I'd love to see it if the shoe fits. <laughs> Have a great Wednesday, you guys. And thank you again for stopping by my page. And feel free to share my videos. I, I so appreciate that. Um, comments always welcome. Say hello. All right. Have a good one. Bye.